I read this poem also to remember Brother Martin. It is called Morning Song and Evening Walk. Tonight, in need of you and God, I move imperfect through this ancient city, quiet, no one hears, no one feels the tears of multitudes. The silence thickens, I have lost the shore of your kind seasons. Who will hear my voice nasal against distinguished actors? Oh, I am tired of voices without sound. I will rest on this ground full of mass hymns, too. You have been here since I can remember, Martin, from Selma to Montgomery, from Watts to Chicago, from Nobel Peace Prize to Memphis, Tennessee, unmoved among the angles and corners of aristocratic confusion. It was a time to be born, forced forward a time to wander inside drums, the good times with eyes like stars and soldiers without medals or weapons but honor, yes. And you told us, the storm is rising against the privileged minority of the earth from which there is no shelter in isolation or armament. And you told us, the storm will not abate until a just distribution of the fruits of the earth enables men and women everywhere to live in dignity and human decency. Three, all summer long it has rained and the water rises in our throats and all that we sing is rumored forgotten. Whom shall we call when this song comes of age? Four, and they came into the city carrying their fastings in their eyes. And the young nine-year-old Sudanese boy said, I want something to eat at night, a place to sleep. And they came into the city, hands salivating guns. And the young nine-year-old were snapped red with vows, Mama, Mama, Auntie, Auntie, I did, I did, I did. In our city of lost alphabets, where only our eyes strengthen the children. You spoke like Peter, like John, you fishermen of tongues, untangling our wings. You inaugurated iron for our mass, exiled no one with your touch, and we felt the thunder in your hands. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, although we have to cry. We have to hold up the freedom banners. We have to hold it up until we die. And you said we must keep going. And we became small miracles, pushed the wind down, entered the slow blood stream of America, surrounded streets and reconcentrados, tuned our legs against Olympic politicians, elaborate cadavers growing fat underneath Western hats. And we scraped the rust from old laws, went floor by floor, window by window, and clean faces rose from the dust, became new brides and bride rooms among change, men and women coming for their inheritance, and you challenge us to catch up with our own breaths, to breathe in Latinos, Asians, Native Americans, transgenders, whites, blacks, gays, lesbians, Muslims, and Jews, Chicanos, to gather up our rainbow-colored skin in peace and racial justice as we try to answer your long-ago question, is there a non-violent peacemaking army that can shut down the Pentagon? And you challenge us to breathe in Bernard Herring's words, the materialistic growth mania for more and more production and more and more markets for selling unnecessary and even damaging products is a sin against the generations to come. What shall we leave to them? Rubbish, atomic weapons, numerous enough to make the earth uninhabitable, a poison atmosphere, polluted water. Five. Love in practice is a harsh and dreadful thing compared to love and dreams, said a Russian writer. Now I know at great cost, Martin, that as we burn, something moves out of the flames called the spirit of apparition till no fire or body or ash remain. We breathe out and smell the world again. Hey, 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 
Amen. 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 A woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, amen, men, men, woman, 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 men, men, woman, woman, men, a woman, a woman.